Don't forget to wear a mask. Welcome back to the community, folks, and thanks for being here. Thank you to my subscribers. I truly appreciate you. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Look down in the description in the channel of any video and you'll see a link to where I have t-shirts and stickers and different items. It helps support the channel so that I can keep buying better equipment. So thanks for your support. Enough about that. Today, what we're gonna do is something different. I have you here in my basement with me and don't get worried, I'm not going to trap you. I am going to do a vinyl seat repair. Uh, I have two very minor little tears in the back of the back seat. So instead of recovering, I'm going to do a repair, and then after the repair dries, we're going to dye the seat and, of course, install it. You'll do that with me, too. So that's what we're going to do today. So sit down, get a cup of coffee, and let's watch. What we have here is a 3M leather and vinyl repair kit. As you can see in the picture here, this is a kit that I picked up off of Amazon. Now you can get it in various places, probably, uh, I don't know, maybe even Walmart, I'm not sure. But we're going to give this a try. Let's see what's inside of it here. Okay, we have, there's a piece of vinyl and little paints. Let's open it up. Papers. Okay, there we go. Perfect. And of course, we have all our different colors. And what you can do with this is mix what colors you want together. Of course, this will be for smoothing it out. I don't know what that is yet. And that's all you need. It does come with directions. So we're going to test this out. Now, the seed I have is kind of a faded gray color. But what we're going to do is we're going to mix black and put it on there because I'm going to go ahead and dye the seat black when it's done so it matches the front seats. So let's give it a try. Okay, I've never done this before, but let's try this. My wife had to step in. I'm not a vinyl seat repair shop, so. So we didn't need to fill it and use the vinyl adhesive that that is to fill if you have a big void but we don't have that so we're skipping that step so you want to cut out a piece of your vinyl to the shape of your a little bit bigger than your tear see how that goes right over it okay you're gonna take your color. We're just doing black because he's spraying the seats black. So we don't have to mix colors, which is nice. Well, it's pretty thick. Yeah. Where's that spatula? Um, I'm guessing. Yeah, that is pretty thick. It says a thin layer. Okay. Now you want to put this side down. So the colored side down. Okay, and then you want to heat up an iron. I'm sure your wife has an iron for four minutes, which we've done. And then you wanna take this tool and you wanna heat it up. Cause that's how it's gonna to adhere to 
whatever surface you're working with. Now, how long do you heat that to up? It says for? at least a minute or so. Yeah, I thought it was about a minute. I think it's said 35 that. to 45 seconds. Well, that was close. Or no, that's, wait. <laughs> I never did this before. Give me a break. Yeah, amateur. <laughs> several minutes to heat. Uh, several minutes to heat the toll. Oh, I thought it said thirty to forty-five seconds. No, thirty also. to forty-five seconds on this. Oh, okay. So. What do you do? Do you touch that to check it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I touch you. The, the guy that's filming. <laughs> Okay, so you're rubbing it on there. In a circle. And then reheat. Reheat. Now, is any of that getting trimmed off or no? No, you'll see. Okay. And remember, guys, I'm going to be including in this film clip, I'll be dyeing the seat black because it does not match my interior. We put those uh, black custom seats in the front. Uh, if you look down in the description or a little tag that'll pop across the screen or you can see the black seats I installed. custom seats uh, to sit lower and back further. So this seat will get dyed black. Uh, you can see what I bought while she's doing that right here. And that's the uh, final uh, dye kit that I bought. Not kit, technically cans. It's nothing special or nothing magical. So. And we're going to dye them black, so you're going to watch that after this procedure in the video. And we will see how it comes out in the end. I know many other people have used <laughs> the uh, VHT. See this coffee mug that she had to have for Christmas. Chip the cup from Beauty and the Beast. Beauty beast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's about right. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> it's not true. Okay, we're heating up again. This chick's hot. Woo. <laughs> oh, God, please. <laughs> now, how do you know when I don't to know. Stop I'm just it? guessing. Oh, okay. On this part, Guess. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> um, let me read it real quick. Okay. Guys don't read directions. They're going to go by you. Oh, that's great. Well, guys don't read stuff. Okay. After the tool is heated, place the hot metal tip on the grain paper over the drawn outline of the damage. Rotate the heat tool the grain paper outline in a circular motion for 30 45 seconds. Care must be taken not to overheat the grain paper. Heat must be applied to each in every section where the grain paper covers the repair compound. Reheat the transfer tool as needed. When repaired area cools, peel the grain paper and examine repair. And since I have ADHD, I have no idea what you just said. I just, just what do what I'm doing. I caught the first sentence. <laughs> just make sure you get it over the whole. Yeah, the perimeter of the whole patch. Yeah. Now I think I've done the whole thing because it feels funky all the way around. Whoop, where we go? Maybe I'll do one more just to be sure. Oh, well, if it's feeling funky, you probably one did more. It right. Okay. I'm sure you have. Okay, now we want to let it cool. Okay, time to be cool. How long do we let that cool for? I don't know, a few minutes. 
A few minutes. Okay. Okay, we've let it cool. And we're gonna just peel that piece of vinyl off. Now that's a little bit wet there, I see, but it'll dry. So just let it dry. Rather than redo it all over again, that's kind of dumb. It looks like it blended in. I mean, obviously it looks bad because it's not matching the color right this second. No, but once you spray the seats, you're not even really gonna notice that. No, not at all. So. And that's that. Okay, so once that dries completely, I'll show you it, which you'll see in a few seconds because I'll edit the film, and we'll go ahead, clean up the area, and we're gonna wipe the seat down with some acetone or whatever we choose, and then you're gonna watch me dye the seat and see the finished product. Thank you for doing your part. You're welcome. <laughs> Okay, so we're up the garage now. There's the back of the back seat I got set in there. And there's the VHT. I'm going to be putting a mask on in a minute so you aren't going to hear me, which is probably best for you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and spray it, and then we'll take a look at it and see what it came out like. I already wiped this down really well and cleaned it so there's no grease or residue on it from the fingers. So let's give it a shot. Don't forget to wear a mask. Okay, so there's one coat. I'm gonna let it tack up for about 10 minutes and put another coat on it, and then I'll bring you in closer and we'll walk around it. I can see the little patch area a little bit, but for such a small tear at the bottom of the back seat, I didn't see no point in recovering the whole seat. Now, if you're putting your car in shows or something, that's fine, but what this is meant to do is to keep it from separating more, and it should do the trick and save you a lot of money if need be. And I'm sure with a little practice, you can even get it better than that. This is the first time that Heather or I ever even attempted something like this. So I'm going to let it sit for a couple of minutes here, put the second coat on, and I'll take you up close so you can see what it looks like. And make sure you have proper ventilation in your garage. I have a fan in my window pulling out, and I was wearing a mask. So, okay. Okay, so I will say we could probably get this a little bit better, but I didn't want the tear to keep separating. That you're seeing there is the light shining down above on the other light. Oh, well, uh, that's the light shining, as you can see. But dyeing them, because that's the color it was before, that dye works pretty nice. I went with VHT because everybody seems to like it, so... That's what I used. Uh, I'm not telling you to. I'm telling you that's what I used. A lot of people like the VHT products. I wish the light wasn't shining on it, but I'm just going to take my word for it. I'll take a couple pictures and put them up right here. And maybe that'll show you what I mean. But it came out really good. Very happy. Like I said, this is the first time we used the repair, and it was just to keep the seam from still ripping. So it adhered it together. But probably should have ironed it a little longer. Where'd you go? There you are. Ironed it a little longer, and it would have integrated right in. But that's okay. I'm happy with it because that's the bottom of the back seat, so you're really not going to see it. And I think that's fine. But I'm going to practice with this... Uh, Vinyl repair kit a little until I get it perfected 
and once I do, then I'll do another video on it showing you how to get it where it goes right in with the grain, you know, much better. But the seam is sealed and that's what matters the most. And very nice. All right, so that's vinyl repair and vinyl dye. Uh, like I said in the video, we need to actually practice some more and I've got extra seats and iron it a little longer where it'll go into the grain. That was first time shot, but I wanted the seam to stay together. Uh, the VHT, I give it a big thumbs up, but I know many people use it. That's pretty much the go-to for interior dye. It's supposed to hold up really well. So, hope you enjoyed the video, and I want to thank my wife, Twisted Pixie Dust. Her link is down in the description for her channel, and I appreciate her helping me out, and I'll see y'all soon.